Our business editor, Ari Rabinovich, joins us. And Ari, all that talk about a WestJet strike could be hurting the company's stock. Yeah, for, uh, throughout this story as it was developing, Cynthia, I was watching the stock value on Bay Street. Now, it doesn't operate as WestJet. It actually goes by the parent company's ticker, which is called OnX. And shares of OnX, that parent company of WestJet, again, fell today on Bay Street by 1.3%. It's also <laughs> worth noting that it's had a bit of a rough go the last few trading sessions. In fact, all of the gains on Bay Street that OnX has seen so far this year have been erased in the past five, five trading days. So it's definitely been a rough go. And it hasn't just been this specific threat of a labor strike. It actually could, was also many other strikes, including uh, airline air, airline workers um, from all different sectors of the from the carrier, but also delivery delays for new jets that stems from those ongoing Boeing issues, which have led to reduced capacity to help eliminate to help meet some of the demand. The WestJet group confirmed it will lease two additional Boeing aircraft from Aviation Capital Group while it waits for the planes it purchased from the jet maker, although it's there's no confirmation if those two leased jets Cynthia, were amongst the other ones that were parked in anticipation of these strike action that could come on Thursday. Could impact so many people. We'll keep a close eye on that one, Ari. And we're now in day three of a significant heat wave. It is hot mm. out there tonight. And that means air conditioners have been running at full blast. Absolutely. And uh, with that comes a lot of strain on the electricity grid. And we were actually monitoring how it's been affecting the demand overall. There's a group that's an independent secure, uh, electricity system operator for Ontario. And it projects that the province will demand nearly 24,000 megawatts of electricity during this specific heat wave. And that's the highest amount of demand in over a decade, Cynthia. Now, it's not really? just over a decade. Wow. Yeah. So it's quite a bit of demand that we're seeing. But again, it's it's not actually just the air conditioner demand, although it certainly is a big chunk of that, as well as fans to stay cool, maybe even freezers, keeping a bunch of popsicles ready to go. But uh, the grid is actually seeing increased demand anyways from logistics and computer servers, electric vehicle charging. And that's also on top of population growth. And it's worth noting that today, Cynthia, Statistics Canada reported that in the first quarter of the year, the national population increased by more than half a percent to around 41 million people. So electricity demand is likely only going up at this rate. Absolutely. All right. Were you watching the big game last night? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, I watched uh, too. It was a nail biter. It for certainly sure. was, although, you know, they started off strong. So the Oilers pulled off a big win in the Stanley Cup finals last night, and that means Oilers fans get to see their team one more time, but it yeah. won't come cheap, Ari. You have to wonder, too, if some of this demand might be coming from outside of Edmonton, maybe some because it is kind of Canada's team right now, depending on how you look at it. But uh, yeah, there is quite a bit of demand for the few seats available for Friday's game. Of course, it's already sold out, even with the game only being confirmed as of last night when Edmonton managed to stave off elimination. At last check on StubHub resale tickets start, Cynthia, if you can guess this number just over two thousand dollars a ticket just to get in the building Ouch. and as much as sixteen thousand dollars actually for some of the best seats in the house but again that's only going to probably go up as we get closer to game time definitely you know watching from home is okay absolutely <laughs> all right thanks very much ari always great to see you